Uh, Bronies, how's it going? Uh, take a look at this. You know what this thing is? Uh, it's a vampire. You ever see these things? Uh, they are uh, bad, bad monsters. They suck your blood out and uh, steal your animals. Uh, they're, they're gonna turn them into red eyed weirdos, you know? Those are magical world movies, you know. There's like always the good guys and, and like the bad guys. Yeah, uh, these gentlemen right here, yeah, the, the the ones wearing black hats, yeah, the they're, they're the bad guys, okay? They are uh, vampire hunters, you know. And I uh, really don't recommend you to become one of them because uh, in order to do so, they tie you in a chair and they inject garlic inside of you, and then you you turn to a garlic stuff idiot as well, you know. Not good, not good. I am determined to become the greatest vampire in, uh, in the history of uh, greatest vampires. I need to uh, defeat these uh, vampire princes and prince. I need to perform rituals and stuff. But before we start, one little thing I have to say first. It's like, if you may hit that little red subscribe button, and uh, wow, it makes a boy like me very, very happy, you know? Very, very happy. Now, while you're there, why don't you leave a comment saying something like, My boy, uh, don't worry about the books. That, that's a real good comment, you know? Okay, enough of the babbling talk. We only have a hundred days to become the greatest vampire lord. Alright, day one. Uh, I spawned in a scorching hot savannah bomb. Yeah, I love to be in such a place. I'm gonna be very honest, since the first day of me playing Minecraft, I hated this bomb, okay? I don't know if it's like the red trees or the orange, I, I don't know, I just hate it, okay? But well, as my grandfather always told me, a man's gotta do what a man's gotta do. And well, if God placed me in a savannah bomb to survive for 100 days, I guess I gotta start here. I walked around for about 2 seconds and, hey, look what I found, my boy Emu. And he looked in my eyes and he said this, if you, yeah, you still are not subscribed now, he will poke you to death tonight, okay? And after that, uh, I saw some elephants. This, this somehow makes me feel like I'm some kind of like national geography director, you know? Like I'm filming for BBC News, or not BBC News, what am I talking about? Oh, whatever, but uh, moving on, I went to get a bit of wood and also a bit of cobble on a hillside. And I also got a bit of coal on the way, which is nice. You know, as a vampire, let's just say that you can't eat that A5 Wagyu, okay? I, I can't eat my Kobe beef, I'm sad, okay? You ever see those movies like Underworld and Twilight? Like in those movies, a vampire can eat food, but they gotta drink blood, you know? So I need to get some glass bottles and store some blood in them, so I'm not gonna starve to death when I'm like out on an adventure, okay? And uh, very luckily, uh, close by there was Sandy Beach, so uh, I got a bunch of sand, like a stack of sand before I moved on. While playing hardcore Minecraft, one of the most important thing is that you gotta have a shield, you know? My father told me that men always need this protection, you know? It's better to have it when you don't need it, than you don't have it when you need it. And that's precisely how I was born. <clears throat> and I wanted to get an iron one as soon as possible, so I went to the cave and got a bit of iron and also some more coal, but then night fold, in which I don't have a shack yet, so I just head underground with like a boxy thingy and uh, crafted my shooter. And I also found out that you can't actually smell tropical fish. I don't know if you guys know this, but I just found out that you can't smell tropical fish and eat it. I'm probably looking like an idiot right now, to be honest. But uh, I also saw a village not that far away. It's like kind of across the river. So I'm probably going to go check it out tomorrow. Coming out of the hut the next day, and uh, I immediately got welcomed by some mobs. I almost got killed by a skeleton and also a creeper. Oh my god! Like, can you believe that? I almost died on day two already. Like, seriously? I went to the village that I saw yesterday and I started collecting some flowers on the way as well because, well, I kind of wanted to use them to decorate my house later on. There's like a bluish one, a yellow one, a, a pinkish one. I don't know. I, I got a lot of flowers, okay? And I also stole a. <clears throat> I also borrowed a blast furnace from this house and I came across this thingy. You know what this thingy is? Yeah, basically with this mod, in order to become a vampire, you gotta get bitten by one or eat a vampire fang, which can be dropped by killing a vampire or... <laughs> yeah, I'm just gonna borrow it from this house as well. And then I saw this potato stealer. I got a raccoon. Hey! 
What's he doing? Is he? He's washing them for the air. Hey, hey, my man. Hey, bro, 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 bro. You want this? Hey. <laughs> hey it's so cute. My boy. Wait, that, is that my last potato? Oh, that's a... No! I, I, I need a potato! My potato! Night came very soon, and, well, I just slept in this house with Mr. Big Nose right here. Um, do you mind if I go bunk back with you, buddy? Adventuring north the next day, trying to leave this infinitely big patch of savanna, I came across this big rock on the way. I actually once considered building my house here, but no, this is just way too small, so I just left. Sailing on the river, I went into a spruce forest, and uh, I found another village, but this one it had like cobwebs on it, and I didn't even see a shadow in it, so I was like, it's spooky though, so I'm not going in. And then, well, after that, I saw another raccoon. Oh, hi, little boy. Want this? <laughs> I just love that they, they wash them. Wait. This is so cute. I kept on going and I saw another cave. I didn't have much iron at that time, so I went in, killed above mobs, and then I just slept on the plains of the wild. I kept on going the next day, collecting flowers on the way as well, and then I came across a vampire hunter camp. Oh boy, uh, these things, uh, they basically, they're gonna constantly spawn vampire hunters. It's basically a spawner, but it spawns garlic stuffed idiots, okay? And then I started speaking to a pack of, I don't even know how you call these things. You want bread? Okay. No. Oh, you don't want it. Okay. Um, you want this? No. Okay. Running across plains and mountains, it honestly seemed to me as if this whole world is made of savanna. I don't know how long it's gonna take me to get to somewhere else, and I came across a cornfield. Oh my god. <laughs> so uh, I don't know, I suppose it's called Golden Rod, I guess. I saw a family of raccoons again, and oh my god, I just love these guys. Like, they're so cute. Like, look at them. Like, they would wash, they wash their food in the water. Like, I, ju I just love them. They're just so adorable. And then finally, thank god, I finally left the hot desert savannah bam. I got a bit further, and I looked around, and I decided, okay, this, this place right here, you guys seen this? This little harbor right here is going to be my future home for 100 days or 69 so uh, i placed on my bed here and i slept the following day i terraformed the land for a bit here and i got ready to build and then i killed this family of bears and holy cow the babies they, they were like blazing fast okay i couldn't even catch them right i did like the ancestor of flash i don't know it, it took me so long for that and then i uh, finally eaten the vampire fang i olive swear to the vampire gods and a prince of the vampires living in a vampire mountain and allow me to join your alliance and may I become a true creature of the night. Oh my god, that's way too cringe. Delete that, delete that. The next day, the first thing that I want to do is to make a coffin because, well, as a vampire, I am going to take damage from the sun, so I need to sleep in a coffin to turn into nighttime, so I'm not gonna burn to death. And I'm going to turn into a vampire after 20 minutes, so I really want to quickly get this as soon as possible. So I went into the tall forest and I got a bit of spruce wood until I found it some sheep and I crafted the coffin. I also went to like a really really bad cave, like you ever go into those caves in Minecraft where it seems really big but it's actually really really tiny? And there's only coal inside and no iron and nothing? Like those are the worst. But whatever, I, I got the stuff and I just slept back home. I was chopping down some trees and minding my own business when I turned into a vampire day 7 and I started taking damage if I were out in the open so I had to like slowly dodge under trees like Assassin's Creed to not get a sunburn and now I finally got back I slept in a coffin to turn into nighttime and as a creature of the night now I had to do things at night as well and rely on blood to survive but you know what also survive in the night? Mobs and there were so much of them, like ton, insane amount. They were roaming around the land, that, just so much. I had to fight one almost like every five seconds. And I ran into a batch of them and I almost got killed. 
Wait, what? What? This is not easy. Holy crap, I take so much damage, I'm dead. Oh my god. Oh my god, I'm dead. I'm dead. No, 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 no. No, no, no. 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 Holy crap. Holy crap. It lights up the area around my bed with the tiny amount of torches that I have. I'm gonna craft some more tomorrow, okay? Uh, and I managed to not die until the next day. At night, I craft an iron booby plate and also some iron panties. And as a vampire now, I can level up and be stronger and a lot more skills on the way. And if you guys look at like the, the number above my XP bar, you see like the one right there. Yeah, that's basically like my vampire level, okay? I'm currently level one and the max level is getting to level 14. So we've got a long way to go. And the first thing that we need to start with is to craft an altar of inspiration. So I crafted it and in order to use this thingy to level up, you need to fill up with blood and then use it. And I don't know, I guess magic thingy and you level up, I don't know. But the main objective now is to first light up this entire harbor so that I can live and do my things in peace. So I ran around lighting every inch of ground that is drowned with darkness and killing hundreds and hundreds of mobs on the way as well. Sucking blood from cows and horses to survive, I actually managed to see the light from tomorrow and live another day to tell the tale. And as you can see, I'm quite impressed at what I did. Maybe I'm actually a good Minecraft player, you know? Or maybe I'm just... I'm just built different, you know? It's day 9 now and I basically did the same thing today, finishing lighting and continue to kill some more mobs. And then I wondered, if I can get one of these horses one day, imagine how cool would that be? Like a vampire lord riding on his trusty horse and roaming around the lands. Like that's real sick, you know, but I can't because I don't have a saddle, in which a saddle is uncraftable in Minecraft, so you have to find a saddle. So I continue lighting and the day ended. Wow, well, I'm gonna be very honest, I actually managed to cover up quite a big piece of land. And also, I'm impressed at myself for not dying today as well. I told you I'm built different. Day 10. At the morning, I, or shall I say at dusk, I crafted a hole and made a little wheat farm next to the river. I, I mean, don't get me wrong though, I only need to eat bread or food, but I mean, of course I wanted to eat my grilled cheese, but I can't, okay? But cows and villages give the most blood, so I'm making this farm to feed the cows. And I used some bone meal to quickly get some weed, I bit up simple farm with fences and went out to lure some cows back. And yes, I know that the fences are not made with the same material, but I don't have enough spruce wood, okay? I managed to get three cows back and wow, they give me actually a lot of blood, you know, like like a lot. Like they give me gallons of it. They're a thick AF, boy! And I placed them in a magic thingy or whatever it's called and then I went to grab some shatai in a coffin. I woke up the next morning and I saw another vampire friend. Yeah, who doesn't love to see people that have the same race, you know? Like, they're my family, they're my boy. No, well, he didn't attack me or do anything in particular, so I can't, he just kind of walked around like an idiot and looked at me awkwardly. So I just trapped him with some level of offenses. Staying in here. Okay. So, Mr. Vampire Friend, I am going to name you Jerusalem. Jerusalem. That's a nice name. Okay. After that, I went back to the auto magic thingy, and I'm gonna be honest, I thought it has to be full of blood in order to level up, but wow, I was really wrong. Uh, I actually already have enough blood to level up. I got a night vision skill from getting to level 2. Yes, and then this is the skill bar, okay? We can turn to bats in the future, we can unlock our stuff, but the first one that we're going to get is night vision. And well, that day I was simply just chopping down some more trees because I had very little wood. <clears throat> Gotta refund my donation to Team Trees later though. I kept riding those thick boys and I got a lot of blood from them that day as well. And I continued to fill up the magic device. At day 12, I woke up at twilight and I used a magic thingy to level up. And look at me boy, I'm a stronger vampire now, I'm like at level 3. Yeah, and I also got a regeneration ability, which it's gonna heal me faster, but it's gonna take up a lot of blood. And yeah, that is exactly why you need some blood bottles, my friend. I got some more blood from horses and cows to go on adventure, but while I was wandering around uh, the sunrise, and oh boy, th this was not good, okay? I, I was far away from my base, and I didn't know what to do, but then uh, I spotted this thingy. This is a vampire forest, okay? 
And if you're in a vampire forest, you're not going to take any damage from the sun, even if it is in the morning. Like, it's like the best bound for a vampire, but like, why did I then build my house and stuff here? Like, like, why? I mean, the answer is quite obvious. It's disgusting. Like, look at the color of the soil. Like, look at the leaves. This looks like a dead, dead forest, my guy. And inside of it, that, that's a lot of vampire friends, you know, like my brothers and stepsister and step bro. <clears throat> Sorry. And then I found the vampire princess there. The vampire prince. My lord. My lord. May I bow to you? Oh my god. They don't like me. They don't like me. Oh. 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 Get away from me, you bastard. That dude hit me so hard. I told you I'm built different. I gotta win and heal up, okay? I, I saw a vampire hunter camp close by, so I decided to go in and kill some of them and see what drops. Turns out they they drop human hearts, which will be needed to level up later on. I got back to my base by hiding under trees and I had to build like cobblestone shelters to every couple seconds to not get fried or crispy bacon. Um, yeah, thank god that leaves blocked the light, you know, it's good, you know. Uh, I got back and took a real good nap. Waking up from the starry night, I found that I can turn into a bat now. Yo, boy, look look at me. Like, I can just, like, open a skill menu, like, click the bat thingy, and I can fly now. But in bat mode, I have very, very little health. Like, oh, precisely only two hearts. And that really doesn't sound good when you're playing hardcore Minecraft, you know? And you also can't use any items or shield when you're in bat mode. And you're going to turn back into a vampire if you touch water or, like, the sun come up. And for some reason, you get weakness when you touch water as a vampire. No idea why. And what's even weirder is that as a vampire, you can actually breathe on the water. Like, like, what? I guess it's a thing from now on. I don't know. But I crafted an iron saber that day and, well, my iron supplies are really running low. I couldn't even make a chest plate or pants and I didn't even have full iron armor. Like, th this is dangerous, okay? Also because I'm too busy that day flying around as a bat, it was already daytime when I wanted to go and get some iron. The next day, I woke up and fed the cows, and I also got a lot of blood from them. Like, gallons of it. I need that a lot because I gotta go out and explain some caves to get some iron, because I'm in lack of it. And you can't drink blood from mobs. I guess creeper have gunpowder in the bloodstreams, and zombies have, like, cancer blood. And skeletons have- wait, skeletons don't even have blood. What am I talking about? So I just spent the whole day gathering materials and preparing to go and explore. New day, new adventures, as they say. I fly away from my house and I found a village nearby. But then I soon learned that uh, this village is actually captured by vampire hunters, meaning that the blood is also filled to the brim with garlic as well, which I can't drink for him. I also saw this weirdo in blue suit with like a black hat, which I can't even interact with, so I just kept on flying and I found this stacked skeleton in the woods. Like, he was stacked and thick. Like, I mean, he got like food, gold armor, and like an enchanted bow. I mean, like, I know this is hardcore Minecraft, but, but for real, like, this hard? I barely even see a skeleton with an enchanted bow in normal difficulty, guys. Like, seriously? Well, whatever. I kept on going and I went inside a cave and I got to gather some iron and minerals, but then, of course, it, it, it was daytime when I got out of it. Like, are you seriously, bro? This is the second time already. I dodged under trees to hide from the sun, but I took so much damage from the sun that I had to keep drinking blood to restore my health. Soon later, I found another cave, so without a second thought, I just bolted inside of it immediately. I got out of the cave again, and it was finally nighttime, and I could turn into a bat again, so I just got my ass back home. I was so happy that I got back safely. I honestly thought that I wouldn't get back and would die to some kind of random mobs or like a lack of blood or some other shenanigans, I don't know. But later on, after I got back, I just bred a lot of cows and because I finally realized that as a vampire, I drink so much blood, like 9 bottles of blood, it just can get cleared in like a snap, okay? Like way more than what I thought. And yeah, I, I literally did that for like 10 whole minutes. After what happened yesterday, I decided, like, th this is it, okay? I'm not gonna let this happen again. I'm gonna make another coffin, so that I'm gonna be safe next time if, when I'm, like, looking for an or go out on an adventure. So I went out to find some mama sheep to get some wool, but instead I saw a runetta portal. And you know, these things, they, they usually come with a chest with some boots in it, you know? 
Ah, yes, it's just junk. Well, there's some obsidian in it with a golden axe of silk touch one. Like, what? Like, why would you need an axe of silk touch? And it's even a golden one? I, I kept on going and not so long later, I found some sheep and got the wool. And because I got it so early, I was like, well, why not get some more iron again since I don't have that much? Oh boy, I was so wrong. It, it happened again! I was in a cave and then and then it turned into day like bro I oh my god you might as well then use the coffin I can't I can't okay I only have two wool I need a free to craft it I tried to run to a vampire forest and saw not that far away but extremely luckily while hiding on the trees when I'm running to it I found some more sheep so I just quickly killed them got the wool made the coffin and I slept inside the cave. I got back to base soon and actually found a zombie spawn on the way, but because I'm a genius I forgot to record that. I I'm really sorry it's my bad, but well, now I got two shadows and a name tag. And oh boy, I can now get a horse and ride it like a boss. A vampire on a horse, like, like, that's real sick dude, like, you can honestly even write a book of it dude. I also got a horse and rode it, but let's just say it sucks, okay? It got 13 hearts of health, that's a lot, but it was slow as a snail and I had the urge to almost kill it, okay? Day 19, it's horsey day. Well, I tamed a little horse that day, like all of the ones that I can see in this harbor plane. And do you know how to tame a horse in Minecraft? It's simple, let me teach you. You basically ride on it until it gets so annoyed at you that it gives up and it's your slave now, you, you've tamed it. I found the best horse after a whole day and wow, it was like blazing fast, like look at this thing. It couldn't jump as high as the other one, but this is the fastest one, so I like this one. I got a horse to a nearby vampire hunter campsite and I lighted up the area and I killed a bunch of them. The next day I went and built a little fence pen right next to the cow pen and I put the horses inside. I also got some sugar cane from the farm that I placed earlier and I also got a bit of more wheat to breed some more cows. And I also found out that you can't actually feed horses food, like I've tried all of them, carrots, wheat, bread, meat, nothing, like none of them works, okay? Then here comes the question, how can you breed horses in Minecraft? I guess you can't, like is it just me that doesn't know about this till now? I I'm gonna be honest, I might be looking like an idiot right now. Also because of that, horses need to regenerate health passively on its own. You can't kind of just feed like rotten flesh so that they quickly regenerate. It's it's not like how a dog works. Alright, I finally decided it. Let's start to build a house. Well, this patch of land is really not the prettiest in the world, so I'm just gonna quickly fix it first. Also, being able to turn to a bat is actually a really useful skill while building. Like, I can just fly up anytime I want and, like, take an aerial view of how things looks. I honestly feels like I'm building a creative mode, you know? The next day, I wanted to build my new house in the middle of this land, you know? So, I had to move my stuff away, and that's literally what I did today. Uh, I also went into the jungle to grab a bit more spruce wood for the building, and it's going to be mostly made of wood, so I had to get a bunch of it. Alright, finally, all of the prep work is done and we can actually start to build. That took long enough. So I'm currently uh, building a sort of Viking style hut. Uh, I mean, I'm not that bad at building, but well, since this was a video and I want everything to look nice and dandy, winky wonky, so I'm just following this tutorial on YouTube. It's quite a nice build, I mean, the link is down in the description. <clears throat> uh, days went and I come. Though the lonely one carefully crafted his delicate heart, made of spruce wood that stand on the mountains for over 200 years, it faces into the deep redwood forest with hidden dangers seeping through the soil. Why did I speak that? That's so cringe. I just made up right now. So uh, I, I built like a stone brick chimney and I had a little soil roof which is going to be a grass roof later with like leaves and flowers decorated on top. Also I added a little workshop next to it in which I'm going to put the furnace there. And last I added the flowers that I got earlier from the village and used on Bomi as well. And take a look at the end result. I mean it's pretty good like the light shines in the house. Like It's honestly a pretty great design I'm going to be honest. Alright, day 31, the house is done, but well, the interior looks kinda, yeah, it, it's empty, okay? So, I went inside first and breed my cows, which I now already have an insane amount of them, and they make like so much noise that I even have to turn down the sounds. I also wanted to use the name tag to name a horse, but well, I need an anvil for that, in which, yeah, you guessed it, I'm on iron again. Very low. 
Well, I'm gonna finish the house and then that is going to be our next objective. So I got some more wood, went back and crafted some spruce stairs, trapdoors, and fences. I've loaded the tutorial, but look! I, I now have an attic in which I'm going to place my bed and my coffin there. And also when I'm in bat mode, I can actually fly through the window, like the square window from upstairs, which is really cool. I can like get in the house to sleep from the window from now on. The next day, I kept on finishing the interior of the hut. I followed the tutorial and I added a storage shelf, kind of. I, I mean, it looks nice, like, it looks nice, but the storage space absolutely sucks, okay? Barely have any storage in it, like, and I built some more campfires and trapdoors in this corner, and it says that this is mimicking a smoker with food on it, but, well, I don't need to eat food, and so I should make some smoked blood? I don't know, but I still place some meat and mutton on it, though. It makes it look more lively, I guess. I don't know. In a tutorial, he also made a desk in the meadow with some chairs, but well, that's just way too big for me and it's gonna block my path when I walk around. Remember what I said? I'm built different, okay? So I decided to improvise. I'm special. So I add some barrels on the floor to get some more storage space as well, and I add a bit of locks in the corner and these shroom lights that I got from the ruined nether portal to make it look cooler. I don't know about you, but I guess it looks, it looks quite decent, okay? The next day, I placed my bed and my coffin in my new new built attic, and also added a little dim lighting up here, and that's it, it's the, the house is finished, yeah. And then, uh, this happened. Can I ride a horse as a bat? What? I can! <laughs> this is hilarious. But can I fly? No, I thought. I thought, imagine if I could fly? Like, my bat is inside of the horse. This is so funny. Of course, I can't see anything of them inside of it. This is, it is hilarious. <laughs> it was very really funny, but well, while I was playing with my horses, I saw this wolfy thingy. But what the hell? Wait, what? What is this? Oh, I'm sorry. What the hell? What? I also organized my stuff in the floorboards. You remember when I say about the horse? I love this one. He's the fastest one, so I decided to bring him out and tie him next to my door. Like, look at him. He's looking nice and steezy, boy. Wake up the next morning, I got my tools and I went to the forest to gather some wood because I ran off them after building the house. Then I saw another one of these things. But this time, it's it's not like a wolf, it, it looks like a flying man, it, it, it's more like a vex. Moving on from that, I did my thing, got some wood, everything was nice and smooth, but then it hit me. I had an idea of how to deal with the shitty horse. So I gathered the material from the mountains and I ran back to my base, and so there I started digging. I continued the next day, digging to about 10 blocks deep, and then made an infinite magic water source down there and filled up with water. Now I got a bit of leftover fences from building, and I made a pole sort of like that thingy thingy. Well, the next thing that I did was to use my second lead that I got from killing a wandering trader, and I tied it to the worst horse. And then I connected it with the tower of the pole, and I think some of you guys can already guess what I'm trying to do now. <laughs> So uh, I pushed the horse down into a hole, it's quite difficult, it's a fat ass, and, and then it just dangles her. I mean, it doesn't die, but well, it can't really live, does it? Poor guy. At least it's a decoration, you know? Not like the other horses, which will probably never get ridden on by me again. Well, they came, and well, I was like, I only need a bit of more buttons and slabs to finish this build. And well, it was a really, really bad idea. Ah. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh, oh my god. Like, why do you even do that? Like, that's so stupid. Like, I'm playing hardcore mode, okay? I need to stop. Like, I didn't even stop going out in broad daylight and just, just sleep in my coffin, okay? Like, I had to stop acting like this and risking my life or else I'm gonna be dead in another two days, I swear to god. Remember what I said earlier about getting on iron? I am determined, okay, I'm determined this time that I'm going to go on adventure and I'm going to get stacked before I come back, okay? I'm going to get tons of iron that the amount is going to be so huge that you're never going to see before. I'm going to get so much coal that even America is going to be jealous. Wait, I think it should be Oreo. 
I don't know, whatever, you get the idea. I got a lot of blood from a cow farm, or I say the blood farm. I brought a staff of cobblestone with me, I got torches, I got wood, I got my blast furnace that I borrowed from the village, and I made sure that everything was nice and stacked and none of my gear were breaking. And after doing all of this, it was already daytime, so I went to take a good nap before tomorrow where I'll adventure into the unknown lands. Waking up the next day feeling very energized, I fly south towards Positive X. Away from my house, I ran into huge, like huge Jane Mountains. And no, I didn't make that name up. That That is literally how this place is called, okay? Flying over it, I saw a cave down below. And after clearing the pesky mobs, I went inside carefully and mined for a bit until I saw him. Oh no. Oh no 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 holy crap I accidentally ran into a bunch of vampire hunters. Oh my god no 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 holy crap and oh my I'm not scared bro I got what garlic? So there's what's well like the vampire, right? Yes, come. I'm actually a genius! You can't hit me! I'm I'm a mm, I'm the best. I got a vampire blood. I'm the best. After meeting him, I explored with a lot more care and I peeked around every single corner before I entered. Slowly but surely, I was getting quite some iron, and I actually ended up about getting 50 iron of them before sunrise, and I just slept in the cave. Waking up from the dirty mountain, I flied out and I spotted this vampire hunter lady, which looks quite nice, I'm gonna be honest. Well, I quickly killed her since she can't be my girlfriend, and I moved on. I saw a village out there close to the shore, but there was a shipwreck in between, and that was what interested me. And so, I went inside and I took a look at what, what was in there. Luckily, I found a treasure map, and after fiddling with where it is for a while, I set off to find it. I arrived at a tiny sand island in the open water, and by looking at the map at where the treasure is, I started digging down to find where it is. I'm gonna be honest, I, I couldn't find it for like 5 minutes straight, but then I changed the spot for a bit, and then I finally found it. I got a bunch of iron and a tiny bit of gold, but my inventory is starting to fill up, so I had to throw away some junk to get everything I wanted inside. I also got Hearts of the Sea, but I'm gonna be honest, it's probably not gonna be much use on this playthrough though. I also found another cave and I went inside of it. I got both iron and coal before the sunrise and I just slept in the cave. Waking up from the gloomy coffin, I set wind to the north and look what I found! Another ruined nether portal. I took a look inside the chest and well, if the last one was bad, this one was disappointingly bad. Uh, I barely have anything useful inside of it besides a bit of iron nuggets. Minecraft nuts, smack you in the face! Uh, I'm sorry, it's not funny at all. <clears throat> uh, I go into another cave and I spend the whole day mining here. And then I got into a mine shaft, and mobs just flooded here. Like, no idea where they come from. Like, you see that skeleton? That just dropped from the ceiling, like in those horror movies, you know? Like, one second ago, there was nothing in the room. And one second later, like, crazy monsters started appearing from nowhere. After dealing with that mess, I got away and I kept on mining for a bit more. And I actually now have quite some stuff. I like two stacks of iron and also a stack and a half of coal. With a bit of gold and a bit of lapis, I got out of the cave soon and well, it was daytime so I just slept on a tree first. Fly back for about a thousand blocks and I dumped all of the iron inside the blast furnace. I got over a stack of iron now and this is what I'm talking about baby! So I quickly crafted an anvil with it and then I wanted to build the structure that I need in order to level up. But then I remembered something. Now that we have an anvil, we can finally rename our horsey! So I grabbed the name tag and I bolted out and found my horse dead. What? What? No. No! No! What? I can't fucking believe it. I can't fucking believe it. What? I have. I literally have no idea. Like, I don't even get it. Like, what? It, like, if the zombie killed it or a creeper? Like, it can't be. There's no explosion. Like, what even happened when I was mining? I was like a thousand blocks away to jungle around all of them. I, I, I don't know. 
I, I, I was really sad and I went back into the horse pen to try to find the second fastest for a sunrise and I didn't risk it anymore since last accident and I just slept first. Wake up the next morning feeling very sad, I got another horse from my pen and I renamed it to Brownie. I mean it's quite obvious since its color is quite brown. And then I got a bit of soil and I went to the podium place and I filled up the creeper hole that I left and then I terraformed it for a bit and then I add some stone brick cobblestone and as I mixed it to give it a bit more texture I guess. And I made a little path down to my house and add a bit more stone buttons on the road to make some stone pebbles. And then well it was daytime and I really don't want to die so I just fly back through the wooden window and I slept. I wanted to craft the altar of infusion the next morning, which is the new magic thingy that we need to use, and the required materials for building the entire ritual structure is four pointy nipple things and a bit of stone brick pillars, but the pillars cost a lot of stone bricks to make and I don't have that much so I just quickly gathered some, fly back home, smelted it, crafted it, got all of the materials and I went to the hell. I placed down the infusion in the middle, placed down the pillars and also the iron pointy things on top of them, and then I placed an even more stone bricks inside the pillars, now I can actually open the infusion thingy for the first level up ritual, I needed to get 5 human hearts, it says, and if I didn't remember it wrong, so how to get a human heart? I think we actually got a bit of them. Yeah, uh, we got a bit of human heart, so we only need 3 more. So I think we get human hearts by killing the garlic stuff vampire idiots, so we're gonna do that. So I cleaned up my inventory, made an uh, pickaxe because my old one was about to break, and I slept before going out to kill some garlic noobs. Day 43, I got on my brownie and I went to the nearest vampire hunter camp nearby, and I lit up the area around a bit more while waiting for them to spawn. They spawned and well, I tried to kill them on my horse with my sword, like really sick, but well, I'm gonna be very honest, it didn't work well at all. Uh, I couldn't hit them and they do so much damage, so I bolted back, grabbed a bow and arrow and I found for a bit. I got two human hearts until they just stopped spawning. Like, they just stopped, okay? I don't know what happened, I waited and waited, and for some reason, they don't work. I don't know if they bugged out or something, or I did something wrong, I have no idea, okay? So I wanted to go back, place down my horse, and just fly by my own to another nearby camp next to a vampire forest. But when I got back, I remembered to get some more blood as well. So I placed down brownie, got a bit of blood from the cows, but then the gleam of the sun shined into my eyes, so I quickly saw first. Next morning, I fly to the camp next to the vampire forest, and, well, I mean, the monster and stuff made my heart almost pop out of my mouth, though. So, do they only spawn a certain amount? Oh my god! What's that? What the hell? Oh my god! Well, I got a human heart on the first try, so I quickly fly back, got the other human heart in my barrel, and I, I just got the ritual thingy. I placed all of the shenanigans down, and I right-clicked it, and of course nothing happens. Well, turns out I also needed a vampire book, and oh boy, uh, these things, yeah, uh, they're, they're very hard to get, okay? The only method that I know right now, and I can do quickly, is to go to a vampire forest and kill advanced vampire. Well, that's what I heard from at least. Uh, it says basically, I need to kill that princess thingy that destroyed me and also her gods. Uh, a great plan. Um, I also made an iron katana because, well, my sword was breaking. Turns out it, it actually sucks. I crafted another iron saber the next day because, like, it's just way better, okay? Like, the, the iron katana, it, it sucks, and iron saber, it's the weapon that I like the most. I fly to the vampire forest, but then I realized. It's so dark here, and if I'm a vampire in the vampire forest, I take no damage, even if it's daytime. So I built a little platform, and I slept there, and I turned into day. I got my bed back, and I started killing. But I, I'm gonna be honest, I have zero idea to kill which one. Like, it just says that kill the advanced vampires. Like, what? Do I, do I just kill the normal vampires, or I kill the prince and princes? Well, nevertheless, I climbed on a tree, and I started shooting a level 1 princess down with a bow, and it, it like, no idea, it, from, from midair, she summoned, like, a red ball at me, which, like, slows me down and gives me blindness. It took me so much arrows just to kill her, and it only dropped a pure blood bottle and no books. I'm starting to get confused here, like, I know that the normal vampires that I kill only drop vampire fangs, 
And I know that the books are rare to drop, so do I need to kill the ones with names or, or what? Like, I, I don't know, but well, I'm sure we can get it sooner or later, though. And people say that the prince and princess are very dangerous and you should be careful when finding them. Yeah, right. But don't forget the fact that I'm built different, okay? Oh, there's another one. This one? What? What the f- Can I- Oh my god. No, I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die on time. No, 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 no. No. No, 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 Holy crap. Holy crap. I can't see anything. Holy hell, I almost died there. Like, no joke. Like, what on earth was that? They do so much damage, especially like the level 3 ones. Like, I barely escaped, so I, I was like shocked and hell. I was, I just fly back home, okay? I was shocked and I, I was really horrified, and they were just way too strong. And I did some research off camera, and well, there also is another method to get vampire books is by looting chests in end cities and also killing the vampire prince and princess. Well, at least that was, I think. Well, uh, and well, so I bottled up a lot of blood and I also bred a lot of cows today, and I basically have a new plan. Okay, I want to get the diamond saber, and I want to get it so that I got looting. Okay. The main way in order to get books is by killing the mini bosses, the, the prince and the princess, okay? And they have a 5% chance to drop them. Each 1% of looting will increase it by 1%. So if I can get looting, I don't know how high is the looting. Can, do we have looting 5 in Minecraft? No, looting 3 only. Well, at least it's going to increase and we'll have a higher chance to get it. And we'll be able to farm clear blood and also getting the books quicker. So my plan now is probably make a little strip mine and try to find five diamonds and also get a bit more obsidian. I need, I need obsidian as well in order to craft the enchanting table. And for the enchanting table, we've got plenty of sugar cane to make papers and we've got a massive cow farm here so that we can kill them and get leather. Yeah, I think we only need diamonds and obsidian, right? Wake up the next morning, I went to a nearby hole and I decided to make my mining tunnel there. And I started digging, like right down to Y equals 11. I think I should be going to like Y equals 13, but I don't know what I was thinking, whatever. It took me so long, now I've been digging for like a good whole day until I only found 4 diamonds. Uh, just, just one more, like come on, I, I've got, I need 2 for the enchanted table and I need 3 to make a diamond saber. It really took me a long time and I finally got another 3 diamonds, so now I have 7 diamonds. I made a cobblestone staircase up from the mine and I used some water to get the obsidian. After that, uh, I got back home, uh, crafted some books and I also made the enchanting table. And while I bred a bit more cows, got a bunch of them so that I can get leather to make the bookshelves for to get like level 30 enchantments. And I placed it near the ritual setup. I went back and brownie died again. Like what, I, what on earth? I don't get it. And there was nothing left this time. It like, it just vanished. Like no leather, no lead, nothing. Like. What on earth even killed them? Like, I have no idea. I crafted the bookshelves and I placed them down, and I got enough to enchant for level 30. Well, the, the enchant sucks, alright? So, uh, I used the book and I got, like, Propel 3, in which I think it's an enchantment for a boomerang, but well, I don't have one, so I just crafted an arm boomerang and combined it with the book. And while I searched it on the wiki, and well, I mean, it says that the Propel enchantment will make the boomerang return faster, but uh, I'm gonna be very honest, I, I really can't tell. It's an utterly pointless weapon, but I like it. Like, a boomerang, it does barely any damage, but it's got infinite durability, so I guess it's decent? I don't know. I also did a bit more enchants, and well, I actually managed to cycle through the enchantment, and I can get sharpness on my sword. So I'm gonna find a bit more diamonds the next day, and craft a diamond saber, and also get a sharpness enchantment on the saber, and then combine it with the looting book. At least this is what I hope can happen. I also managed to get a fortune free diamond pickaxe and it's gonna be very useful to get more diamonds in the future in which I really need diamonds to craft more armor and also craft a saber first. So the next day I went back to the mine shaft and I started mining for just one more diamond. I, I mean I need one more to make the saber, okay? Uh, so I dug straight ahead and after the whole day of mining I find 11 diamonds! I actually only got a 5 vein, but with my fortune free pickaxe that I got, it gave me 11, like that, that was honestly insane dude. 
I went back home and I finally crafted that diamond saber. Well, I'm not level 30 now and I can't get a max enchantment on it or on my books, so I'm just going to run out to the wilderness to farm some mobs to get a bit more XP. Well, I ran across the vampire camp and I saw a vampire lord next to the side of the vampire forest. Because I thought that it was a really good idea, uh, I went ahead and attacked it. But this time, uh, I didn't just rush in and like fight him with my mighty blade. This time, I actually kept throwing a boomerang at him. Out of the vampire forest. Okay, maybe. Maybe, maybe not, he can, he can. Okay. I'm actually a genius. I'm actually a genius, yo. Oh my god. Wait, how can I be even. How can I even be this smart? Stay back, demon. I mean, I am a, I am a vampire as well. Uh oh, not good. But then the boomerang got stuck on the ground and I was like, oh no, that, that's not good. So I, I just fly the way back home as well because the sun was rising. I bolted back the next day to where I left my boomerang and I actually managed to get it before it despawns. And thank god that the vampire lord despawned as well so that I can actually manage to get the boomerang without him attacking me. I got up to level 30 and I finally started enchanting again. I, is it is sharpness 5 the max or I almost type champ okay whatever sharpness 4 that that's good enough okay so we're gonna get this so first gonna get sharpness 5 4 I'm sorry so we're gonna get sharpness 4 I, oh, you, I forgot we get more enchantments than this one sharpness 4 fire aspect 2 unbreaking free unbreaking free with knockback 2 oh my god the knockback but I mean, if we have not back when we're fighting the the Blood Lord, that's insane. This is like the Lord Breaker. Okay, I'm gonna rename this to something like the the Lord Breaker. Okay. Oh boy, I kept on enchanting to try to get looting. I was able to get looting, but on a, like a stupid stone sword. So I just threw it away until I came across getting efficiency on a bug. And I want this, okay? Uh, actually, now that I think of it, like, I mean, I don't really need it, but I, I still wanted it, okay? The next day, I ran back into the plains to kill some more mobs for XP. I went to the vampire forest to kill some vampires for XP, but I'm gonna be frankly honest, like, don't do this. Like, they give barely any XP at all, okay? And this process was just insanely slow. So, I need to find a better plan. Uh, I then remembered that I once found a spawner, but well, after a bit of thinking, I think that it would be better for me to go and mine some quartz to get some XP in another. I got 10 obsidian the next day and I built another portal next to the enchanting thingy and also the ritual structure because well, I mean since I put those stuff there I think it's only appropriate for me to put another portal there as well, you know? Uh, so I lit it up and I went in there. And alright. Would you look at that? Like we're probably at like the worst one of you. Like come on man, I, I needed like quartz and stuff like that. And like this gas blasting at me and her mob that I hate the most here. Skeletons. Skeleton is probably the only mob that can like kill me when I'm in bad mode. So, like I, I just hate it in this playthrough, okay? The other thing is that for some reason my shield just doesn't block the arrow sometimes. Like no idea why. And also they literally have like aimbot. Like when you play in hardcore mode, like they're even scarier than creepers in my opinion. Well, well whatever. Uh, I got the levels and I got back, but well it was daytime so I just slept under the tree first. I got the efficiency 4 book and well, I used some books to cycle through the enchantments and holy crap, I, I finally got looting free. And of course it took me a lot of time to get the quartz and stuff but I mean no one wants to see that so uh, now that I got the books I will just go and combine them. So fortune pickaxe with the efficiency throw, wait, lucky throw can I? What? Whatever. Um, the efficiency is going to go with the pickaxe. And this one is going to be Diamond of uh, What on earth is going on? No! 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 I honestly can't believe it. Is these ghostly wolves guys keep killing my horses? No wonder why Brownlee and the other old horse died. Like I hate you guys. Well, I killed them, and after that, I combined the books with my shenanigans. Oh, I. Okay, looting. This is the name of it. This is going to name. 
No, this is the legendary sword. No. After going back to my shack tile from the sun, I used a bit of extra diamonds to craft a diamond booby plate, a new fresh set of an armor, and a new shoot as well. Day 57. After days of getting out good weapons to fight for the vampire books, I went back into the most horrifying place. That the one that struck nightmare deep in my heart. The vampire forest. But this time, this time is different. I'm a changed man, okay? I don't have that ego anymore. <clears throat> I'm just kidding. I know I'm both different. I just have a little ouchie, okay? I have better armor. I have a better weapon now. I'm changed, okay? So I made a platform up on the tree to be able to easily kill them. And then it's murder fest. I killed a lot of them, at least like 12 of them, but but like none of them dropped me a single vampire book. Like percentage of it should be like 5%, but well, since I now have looting free, it should be like 8% or more. I mean, maybe I'm just getting bad luck, but uh, I, still, I still don't have any after a whole day of murdering poor orphans. I'm actually now driven mad, like I've been killing them for three whole days, like over 30 plus, like how can there be no books dropping? Like that doesn't even make any sense. It's a looting free sword, like what? Okay, so I just checked and uh, I think I've been killing the wrong ones. And people say that I don't actually need to kill vampire barons, but I need to kill the advanced vampires, like the ones with weird names. But now, uh, here comes the second question. How can I find them? So basically, uh, I still don't really know how to get one. Like, do I just need to fly around the world or like roaming around to hopefully find one? How can I sometimes not pick them? What? This one... Oh my god, did I just drop one? Oh my god! Oh, oh my god! Oh, oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh, vampire book! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my goodness! <laughs> I don't know, should I cry or laugh now? I, I honestly don't know. I, oh my god. Oh my god, I, I can't believe it. I, I got one from killing a vampire hunter, like what? I thought that I need to get them from killing advanced vampires, like what? I, I, I don't know. You guys literally have like no idea how happy I am. Like I've been doing this for days and weeks in the game and I never got it. Well, I, I really thought I couldn't do this and I was like, oh man, it is already day 60 and I still can't get a book and I'm only level 4. Oh boy, the faith is back. Let's continue our journey to becoming the greatest vampire lord, shall we? And that day I finally used the precious vampire book that I got and I leveled up to level 5. Oh my god. Oh my god. Why is the sun coming up? Please not now. Oh my god. Oh. It's working! And my inventory is glitching out. Whatever. Level 5! I'm a vampire level 5 now! It works! It works! <laughs> yeah! I looked at the ritual thingy and well, it says that the structure is not suitable for this leveling up, I, I don't know, but I searched online and I found that in order to level up from level 6 and 7, I need these stone bricks to be switched out for um, blocks, so I took all of the iron out and well, yeah, no, uh, we definitely don't have enough iron for it. We need about half a stack more, even including like all of the ones that we got, so uh, yeah, that's what I did. Uh, I went back to some caves and started digging. I got a whole stack of iron just to be sure and I also got a bit more gold as well, because I think that we need to use gold in the future for the ritual structure as well. I got the iron pack and I smelted it, but while I was waiting for it, I went to some nearby vampire camps and I killed them to get a bit more human hearts and hopefully get some vampire books as well because I still don't know how you get them, like I don't know. Uh, I went back and forth from the lit camp and also the camp next to the vampire forest 
At the end, I only got two human hearts, I think, and well, the sunrise, and I went back to get the smelted iron, I crafted the 12 iron blocks that's needed, and I slept. I got the iron blocks the next day, and I placed them in the ritual thingy, like, I took the stone bricks out first, and then I placed the iron blocks there, and it worked. It, it actually works. So, uh, what, so I checked what does it need. I got all of the materials that is needed, and the last thing is a vampire book. In fact, I need up one vampire book per level up from now on, and to this day, I still don't know how to like actually constantly get one. I have no idea, so I just killed some vampire hunters and I barely got anything. The next day, I decided to do something else, you know, because like, we have been trying to wrap our heads around how to get vampire books for like, week now, and I really wanted to take a quick break out of it. And so I decided to make something new, like a contraption. Well, uh, I know that contraption that can turn meat into blood, and it requires a diamond for it, so it's not the cheapest thing to make, and I've never used it before in this mod, so I don't know if it's good or not, but we'll see. So I crafted it, and like I placed the container at the bottom, the sieve at the middle, and the meat grinder at the top. No boy, when I put the meat inside the grinder, it like grinds it and gives me blood on the bottom. And like the full containers, like each layer of it, they give me a full bottom, not just like one third of it or something like that. They give me so much blood. So I crafted a ton more glass bottles and I decided to bottle them up in like the extra empty barrel that we have. So from now on, when we go out to adventure and we come back needing blood, this is going to save us so much time. Like why did I make it earlier? Like... <laughs> Oh, no, I was even scared if it was worth it. Like, I'm so sorry, little one. I shouldn't have doubted you. I used the meat grinder to get a lot of blood, and I packed nine of them on me, and I went out to find a village. Because I just thought that you can actually get a book from a vampire hunter trainer as well. So I flied over the giant mountains and went into the village. Well, I couldn't find one, and there were no house with a vampire fang in the front, like the one that we saw on day two. So I just left, and I went back home. I went to the vampire forest to kill some normal vampires, and also vampire burns, and oh, oh boy, of course they give me nothing. Like, really disappointed. Oh, I didn't enough! Okay, I, I don't want to listen to those people on YouTube thinking about what gives me books and what doesn't. Like, they're so annoying. So, I'm actually going to do it for once and for all and tell you all the truth, okay? So, I'm gonna test them all out. After testing, I found out that books can only be dropped by an advanced vampire or advanced hunters, the one that have names, okay? And of course you can also, I think you can get them from entities, chests and stuff like that, but I, I haven't been to there in this place before, so I don't know. But well, the same question rise. How can I find them? Like, I also say that you can find some vampire dungeons and you can find the books in there, but well, as you guys can see, after adventuring for so long and playing for like 67 days, I, I still haven't found one, so I have no idea what to do. And so I simply go out to the wild and just roaming around without a mind to do anything. I saw some villages, yeah, but they don't have books in them. Some YouTubers say that you can get books from killing the vampire hunter trainers, but that's just completely fake. Like, I've tested and not just it's hard to kill them or it's impossible to kill them, they also drop nothing. Like, not even a single garlic. Wait, that's a chest next to that dude. Oh my god, I, I can't believe it, like, it's what even is happening, it's like, if I want to find vampire books, it just doesn't give me. When I'm stumbling on, like, random stuff on accident and killing random stuff, they're like, ah, bro, you want that book? Ah, uh, here's the book, and I'm like, oh my god. Uh, later on that day, 68, I got a second, just a second vampire book from killing advanced vampire hunters and also advanced vampires. I was so happy and I really don't want to lose them or die and end this playthrough due to the sun, so I wasn't being greedy and I just went back to base as fast as possible. After getting the two books back, uh, I, first of all, uh, I used the first one to get to level 6, and then I finally realized that I actually didn't use all of my skill points that I got earlier. And I still have one book left, and before I need to go into find more books, I'm just going to use this to level up first as well. And which the only thing that I need left is a full human heart and then I will be able to get it. So let's just quickly get it. Alright, done. Uh, so I fly back and I call off the materials and I leveled up before the sunrise. 
The next day, I got some wheat from my farm and repopulated the cow farm even more, like no idea why, but okay. I got a bunch of them to get the meat and grind it up into like blood, and currently we still need 7 more books. And my plan is that we're going to get very stab, we're going to get fresh armor, stuff like that, and we're going to go out on a crazy adventure out there until we get enough materials to come back. Like, I'm going to get 7 books, it's tons of human hearts and stuff like that before I come back. For now, let's just take a look at what we need to do to level up. Oh, wrong structure. So I ran back, uh, I got all of the gold that I got and I placed them inside. In fact, I already have so much that I only need 3 more gold blocks and add a bit of stone brick pillars left. So I'm just going to quickly go to the nether tomorrow and finish the last day of the ritual. And then we can go out on an epic adventure, which, I mean, like, who doesn't love it when a YouTuber goes on to a homeless adventure out to the far land, fighting to survive and become the greatest vampire lord. Like, that's just awesome, dude, I'm gonna be honest. I got my fortune dump pickaxe and I went back into the nether to gather the gold blocks. And while I was gathering, I saw this thingy. What on earth is that? What? What is that? Is that Bone Serpent? I wanna kill him though. I wanna kill him. I, I, I reach in. But, uh. Whoa! That man literally just faded through the floor. Like, this is something our Harry Potter, you know? <laughs> I don't know. That boy seems kind of scary, you know? And uh, I really don't want to accidentally die or something happens on day 71, so uh, I just left him alone and I got the gold box. When I got everything, a ghost decided to play fetch with me. Come on, boy. Oh boy, that's so close. Nevertheless, uh, I got back and I slept on the shade of the tree. Going back to the house, I crafted the altar pillars and I got the gold and placed them in. Well, because I'm a genius, uh, I forgot to craft the unpointy things. So I went back, crafted them, and then the ritual structure is done. And by the way, this is the highest level, and from now on, we don't need to upgrade this anymore. So like, this is the highest level, okay? And when it is done, it is time for the big boy adventure. I'm going to go out for like 10 days or something like that, and I'm go I'm determined to get 7 vampire books back, and also stacks of human hearts. So I packed all of my stuff, and I only brought 6 bottles of blood this time, since I leveled up my skill, I'm a frugal vampire now, I don't need to drink that much more blood now, and I can just refill them with some like random cows or pigs. So I left my home sweet home and I went into the harsh wild. An adventure is absolutely wonderful and brilliant, but do you know what also starts with the word B? B row. I came across weird looking villages on the way as well, and also werewolves, they were like strong strong beasts boy, and wow, even a grown man will get bullied on a bed if you're not careful, wait what? <clears throat> I even came across my old house and also the village, and then it took the whole like day 80 to get back, I was like really far away, like thousands of blocks far away, okay? 
Oh boy, it feels good to be back. Uh, we now have seven books and more than a stack. Like, like more than a stack of human hearts, dude. I quickly dumped all of my trash junk away and ran to the ritual thingy. I used the materials that and I leveled up from seven straight to eleven. Like, that's just bonkers. Absolutely crazy. And I use them to get some new skills as well, but most of them are quite useless, I think. But now, I, I don't have any more level 4 pure blood, and I think I will need a bit more level 5 and a bit more human heart as well. So I'm just going to go and gather a bit more. I honestly can't believe that we need to gather even more blood bottles, despite the fact that we already have like tons of it. And while in the Vampire Forest, I tested a new skill that I got, which is the Vampire Rage. And oh boy, I get like speed free and strength. And it was just insane. I just diced through the level 5 burns like it was like potato. This is probably the best skill. Wait, no, Bat Mode is the best one. And this is probably the second best. But then I slept because I already got all of the pure blood. And now what's left is a bit more human hearts. I went between the camps to gather some human hearts, and well, nothing really was special except for the fact that they are so easy to kill. Like, I don't even know why I'm fighting sometimes. Like, there's no, literally no chance. Like, like, just look at this. What am I doing? Well, uh, I got 9 human hearts, and one of them dropped a book as well. I mean, it's always good to have these, because, well, they're, they're quite hard to get. I also tried the disguise skill that I got, which can make other people think that I'm not a vampire for like 20 seconds. I mean, it does make things smoother and they don't attack me, but, I mean, they're already dumb enough that this skill is utterly pointless. Day 83, I used the human hearts and a bit more books to get up to level 13, and now I checked, it says missing 23 human hearts. Like, I was serious, I originally already got like a stack and a half of them, like seriously, like even more? Well, I guess it's time to murder some garlic orphans again. I kept on killing and killing for days, and I just got some blood from the llamas nearby when I need them. No, but these things, like, they, like, spit at me. I know of them even spit it so hard that it broke my helmet. Like, what? I think in the Olympic Games, they should add something like the spitting contest or something. I don't know. But, well, I got everything, and I got back home. The next day at home, I finally leveled up to level 14. Like, this is a really special moment. Oh boy, that's a long time. You see that achievement or thingy? Like, as bloody as it gets. Like, oh boy, we are now at max, maximum vampire level. But well, you can actually get higher level, as I said, vampire lord level. And in order to do that, we need to find a vampire captured village and find a vampire representative of that village and their quest. So I fly far and I came across a savannah village that I think we have been to before. And so I went down to the beacon and I clicked it. Now it starts the capturing progress. The beam of light will turn into pink when it's fully captured. And now we just wait. I saw a lot of zombies and creatures nearby killing my villagers. So I went around the village and I like cleaned them up. Um, but then I saw some weird werewolf villagers, hybrids, and I mean, they're, they're weird, okay, they're like yellow and bananish color, I don't know, and I killed them all, but the sun was rising while I was capturing, so I quickly flagged back on top of the house, and I just slept first. The villager was done capturing after I wake up, and I quickly found that the vampire representative of the village. Another different quest that I can do by right clicking him, but the one that we want to do is Are You Worthy? In order to do that, we need to turn 25 things into a vampire, give him gold to bribe him, capture more villages, and give him 5 purified blood. Oh boy, I have the gold. I can just take some from the ritual, I mean. Uh, pure blood is not that hard to get now, considering the fact that I have much better gear and a better sword. Turning things into vampires and capturing villages will be the hardest one. We're not at the end game. We have 11 days left, 4 missions, 1 quest, and 1 life. Let's do this. Gosh, I feel like I'm Captain America giving a pep talk, you know? <laughs> uh, so with the very little amount of time left today, I quickly tried to turn some piggies and sheep into vampires. Wait, how do I even do that? Turns out you just need to suck all the blood out and then, and then they will have a chance of turning into a vampire thingy. But then, yeah. I oh, this one died. Can I bite? I'm sorry. Okay. Oh! Whoa! What? What was that damage, my guy? Thank God elephants can't fly. What? 
What was that damage, my guy? What was that damage, my guy? Don't you dare. What was... What was that damage, my guy? What? I do... Whoa. Whoa. I almost died to... Elephants. I almost died to the elephants. Elephants. I, I can't believe it. They do so much damage. Like, I almost got killed by elephants. Elephants. Can you believe it? I continued the process of sucking poor animals' blood out to try to turn it into vampires, but well, it was like really, really boring and it took much longer than I thought. Um, it was already day 91 when we were done. Yeah, uh, three whole days of sucking blood. My teeth are getting sour from all of the blood sucking, and my mouth is getting tired from biting so many times. But finally, like, like, finally, after so much blood sucking, I actually found a little trick if you guys are like doing this by yourself as well. Try to find sheeps, okay? Sheeps has the highest chance to turn into like a vampire sheep. Like, I don't know if this is intentional or it's just me getting very lucky on sheeps. I don't know, but that's what I found at least. Alright, now since that we got a bunch of red-eyed animals wandering around in the world, the last thing is to turn three villagers that are originally captured by hunters and turn them into owls, aka vampire ones. Alright, you guys know me, I love sarcasm videos and you guys have seen quite a lot of them. Why not we do a quick 15 second montage of the 7 days of capturing orphans. So, uh, I got the three villages captured, and well, what I need now is just a couple more level 5 purity blood. So, I went into the vampire forest next to my base, and I really got lucky. Like, I only needed three more pure blood, and I exactly saw, like, three level 5 burns. Like, I think I just hit the jackpot, guys. Like, okay. We turned three villages into ours. We got five purity, five blood. We've got gold ingots. And the reward that we've been waiting for. Oh my god. Can you see? I'm, I'm Vampire Lord. I'm a Baron now. I'm a Baron now. I'm not just a plain old level 14 Vampire. I'm a Baron. I'm a... Oh. I see the wooden shack. I can hear the water rocking onto the harbour. I can smell the sweet scent of the flowers in the plain. This is the last day and I decided to take a look at what we've done in this journey. Well, we first started in a savannah hut, went into a village and we picked some flowers. We adventured out into the forest, through the redwoods and into the harbour, settled upon this land. We had our horses, the fastest one. We have a brownie. Wait, I forgot to make a grave, give me a sec. Well, and then we got our horses, we made a house, or some resource again that I didn't design one by my own, because I really want everything to be nice and dainty, because I want this video to be good, like, but, and if you guys want me to, like, build my house next time, tell me in the comments, I'm absolutely going to read them, and give some feedback. Well, um, enough of the grueling talk, I honestly thank you all so much for watching, I don't even care if you subscribe or not, I just really do hope that you guys like this video, and, and none of you guys think that this is like, oh, I, why do I waste like, so much time watching this useless video, like, that's what I hope for, and, uh, see you guys all in the next journey, bye!